film on them. Um, we still got to see what tendencies we can do to um, make it easier for ourselves to break the press. But I mean, they're so they're so quick and so athletic, and you know they can get from point A to point B in, in a millisecond. I mean, it's incredible. So we just got to do a great job of just going out there, you know, taking care of the basketball like we've been doing, and just trying to make sure we stay patient and make smart decisions. Tim, uh, talk about leadership. Uh, you've got a chance to be around Stu Dudley, Zach Novak, Corey Person, Carlos Taylor. Talk about how that's helped you lead, particularly this season, since you won the leaders of the team. Yeah, that, I mean, it helped me out tremendously. And, um, you know, I've been here since Zach and Stu. No, I think I was on the, the person that's playing the most on the, on the team. Um, you know, been with them the longest. So I kind of know in the, what to expect of, from them. Um, our opponents and just try to know how to I, how I can handle it. Um, you know, they Novak and Stu really taught me how to handle adversity very very well. And you know, you know, you gonna have different emotions on the team, so you gotta pick and choose when you can get on a player, when you can't get on a player, and when you can encourage them. So I think they just really helped me out in that aspect of my game and really uplift my um, my motivational skills. How much do you think this run is going to influence what the number of underclassmen on your team decided to do after the season? And, and how much did last year's disappointment do you think influence maybe Trey at the end of the day to come back? Well, I don't think that's going to do, I don't think any of that's going to go get into our freshman's head. I mean, I, mean, I know that, I, I know that the next level is their dream. I mean, they lived up, they try to live um, through college and, you know, they play, they're playing so, so well. A lot of people are saying, why not go? But, you know, they do a great job of just staying in the moment and staying humble, and they won't win for Michigan. They really want this really, really bad. And um, I don't think they're looking ahead at all. They're not even focused on the next level or whatever the case may be. They're focused on this game, focusing on the day and practice and what we can do to get a national championship, and we know we got to pass a very, very tough Louisville team to, to get there. What, what about Trey last year? Do you think that maybe he hurts him to come back uh, losing to Ohio? Yeah, um, I, that, that, I know right away um, after the Ohio game, I knew I already knew that, you know, everybody was asking me the question, are you coming back? I'm like, yeah, I'm for sure coming back. And, you know, I was very, very disappointed in the season that I had and that my team had and how we finished. And I just wanted to make sure that that um, we left on a good note. And, and um, you know, luckily we're here, but, I mean, with Trey, Trey's situation, I mean, it's incredible what he went through to – to come back and took a lot of sacrifice because um, he was almost gone for a minute. So, I mean, just with our team talking to him and coach staff talking to him and saying, hey, we want you to come back, really helped us out. And, you know, he stuck with us for the long run and he really helped us out. Take a roll. You're over 24 hours away. What's going through your mind right now? How much do you want this? I mean, I'm sure you've had these moments growing up thinking about possibly being in this moment. Yeah, I mean, it's a dream come true, first of all, and um, you know, it's a blessing to be here. Um, I mean, I know I really, really wanted it. Our, my whole team really wants it. But we know that the red and black team on in the Big East, is, is their mindset is the same exact way as ours. So we just got to do a great job of, um, you know, just matching their intensity level. He's been in this situation before. They've been in this situation before. Um, and they know what it takes to win. So we just got to do a great job of just matching their level of intensity, matching their level of pride and passion out there. Do you remember the first when you first became aware of March Madness? Uh, is there one particular triggering March Madness that made you a big fan of the, the event? Um, when, when it was on Mario Chalmers versus Derrick Rose. I mean, yeah, not Derrick Rose, but like Memphis versus Kansas. And then Mario Chalmers made that game, that, that shot to go in overtime. And, and then they came back and they won. So, I mean, that really made me a fan of that and of the March Madness. And you know, I, I remember going to going to the second or third round in the in Miami. It was in Miami when I was a junior, or sophomore in high school, and um, it was just great to see um, you know James Harden playing for Arizona State and seeing a lot of guys that were in that tournament that are in the league now. And how much do you respect by him? You do you you won five points. Talk about the respect you have for Louisville and how difficult it is going to be to, to beat them. Yeah, you got to give them a lot, a lot of respect. Um, they they press hard. Their coach is really, really tough, and you know they do a great job of just buying to the system. Um, I think your team reflects your coach, and they really, really reflect their coach, and that's why they're really, really good. So, 
Um, we're excited for the challenge. I know they are excited for the challenge, and you know it's, it's just going to be great just to um, see what happens out there on the court. How, how do the stars?